What's up, guys? My friend Kid Ed. Your Alpha is here, and we are back once again. My pack, me and Monster, we're going to check out a new fan film from uh, my friend, uh, Chris uh, Notarelli, uh, from uh, Blinky 500, Blinky and Production, excuse me. Uh, today, I gave you hints at what it was going to be, but you guys, I guess y'all didn't get it. So, uh, I said it was a blue bug themed superhero. And I'm sure people are probably thinking it was Blue Beetle, Jaime Reyes, or Ted Cord. Nope! Monster, who is it? That's right. Y'all know this spoon! Right? The Tick. So we're going to watch a Tick fan film. Chris had told me about this uh, one time we were talking. And he even uh, he gave me he gave me a clue and um, and I was ready to watch it and everything like that and so here we are let's do this it should be a lot of fun as always uh, note to self I, I will let y'all know uh, a certain character is in this and Chris actually voices that character I'm not gonna spoil who it is but he's he does it so here we go uh, let's do this. Now. In the city. <laughs> a chaotic urban jungle brimming with unexpected chaoticness. Anything can happen here. It's Anything can. <coughs> the flater mouse. <laughs> <laughs> the blader mouse. <laughs> you, you see that? That is a throat nodule. That's what that is. Can I get can I get like a bottle of water or something? Can somebody here, thank you. Thank thank you. Nobody drank out of this, right? <laughs> oh god. Oh, that's better. Oh, 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 oh. I can't find my seat. Oh there it is. Now we're good. Now we're good. Thank you. Let's go it's again. a good Where's costume. You? My name is Deflator Mouse. I'm a superhero. I've been protecting this city for a while now. Now you might have heard of me. I'm sort of a big deal in some circles. Yeah, right. <laughs> Most nights I patrol these mean streets. Stay close to me. You never know when danger can be lurking around any corner. Speak of the devil. Okay, we got lucky that time. The coast is clear. Stay by me. We never know where danger is lurking. Do I get a thrill out of saving countless lives from the threat of evil? Well, <laughs> let me answer your question with a question. Is it wrong to push a kid in a wheelchair down a hill? Yeah. The answer might surprise you. No. Because that kid in a wheelchair, he was a terrorist. The strap to his chest was a bomb. And that hill, it was a cliff. You're welcome, America. Oh yeah, I'm with the whole crew right now. Oh, the costume looks really good. I like that. Because it's being detailed. Oh no, I agree. It would have looked cool. Because you told me this was happening on the 25th, Gary. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Did you hear that? Gary? I said to myself, hey, that gives me plenty of time to make sure the deflated mobile is camera ready. No, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Because I think about these things, Gary. Uh huh. Uh huh. Fine. Hey, guys, let's go shoot some more rooftop stuff, huh? Did you just go out and get the hot lights? Is that, is that a thing? You go out and buy lights that are just hotter? Whose job is it to make sure these lights are the appropriate temperature? So normally I would just grab you up to the top of the building, you know, zip line straight up there. But I feel like it'd be kind of rude to leave you guys down there, so we're gonna go the old-fashioned route and take the elevator. <laughs> See, obviously a big part of being a superhero is, you know, fitness. And I personally believe that cardio is the most important part of crime fighting. So, we're taking the stairs. It's like we're all gonna 
get our steps today, huh? Y'all remember yet yeah, Deflator Mouse's cape is like extremely long. Why? Did you consider any other superheroes for this project? Yeah, I did. I considered the Human Bullet. We go way back, and uh, Super what? Urchin. Uh, a couple others that are kind of esoteric. You might know them unless you're, you know, in the industry. Uh, let me see who else. Who about American Maid? What about? Uh oh. Wait, did you hear from her? Uh oh. I don't know if we have a permit for this building or not, but it, it doesn't tell it. This is righteousness. This is. Justice! Can you dig it? Oh, who goes there? Tick! <laughs> Only if it isn't Deflator Mouse, my old friend! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Shit. Tick. Sorry, I didn't know you were up here doing, uh, whatever that was. You seem really busy, so we're gonna leave. Oh, 
I can't stop laughing. <laughs> we were having a little discussion as to whether or not daylight saving time played a factor in this whole midnight bomber character thing. Things got a little heated. But I'm happy to report that it does not. Where you take that from? Cut a notification. <gasps> Egad! The Bomberman is live streaming! And so he says, he says, you got a message, kid. The whole world needs to hear it. And so he says, yeah, baby. They're gonna hear it, all right? Because I'm about to make them all my captive audience! <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm live streaming. So sit back and strap in. Because <laughs> anybody now gets a look at the go. Sky high! <laughs> Yo, Chris, you're killing it. <laughs> you killed it. <laughs> He said it! <laughs> Dick was a better detective than Deflator Mouth. <laughs> but there is a tomorrow. This is, there's definitely a tomorrow. <laughs> Tick. Out. Motherfucker. Got you curse. I knew it! <laughs> Chris did the voice. He didn't do the the actor. That's that's the the voice was him. Um, uh, well done, well done. That was that was probably the funniest one that I've watched of Chris's uh his fan film. This this was fun. Um, the Tick. You know, shouts out to uh, Ben England, the creator of the Tick. Um, shouts out to him because he is the creator of the Tick. Um, for all those who love the Tick and love that cartoon from back in the 90s, I loved it. It was great. Um, whoever watched, read the comics, yeah, the comics were a lot different. You know, for example, the Tick was, he's a mental patient. He, you know, he was a mental patient, if you guys remember the, the comic. Um, but the cartoon was great. I watched the TV show, the first one, I'm forgetting um, the actor who played him. It was okay. I, I enjoyed it for what it was. I did not watch the Amazon one. Um, I don't know. It just I didn't. It, I don't think it just intrigued me as much. I wish there was a new cartoon series. Um, I did pick up the comic series when they came back to comics. But I always love anybody who tries who does uh, the Tick. You know, bring the Tick to life. And you know, this was really good. The actor who played the Tick was fun. I couldn't stop laughing at him. Like he just he killed it. Um, and the actor who played the Flare Mouse was just funny. Um, you know, he, because if you watch, if you watch the, um, the cartoon, the Flare Mouse is supposed to be the Batman S of that universe. You know, um, uh, Cam Clark voiced him, and, you know, he, the Flare Mouse came off real all cool and everything, you know, with that voice. You know, Cam Clark got that, he can lower his voice really well. But in it, me, uh, on the outside, he's kind of a punk, you know. <laughs> And you know, American Made. I, I really wish American Made was in this. That would have been funny. Uh, just seeing her just once would have been great. Uh, but this was great. This was so much fun. Um, you know, 
the, the Midnight Bomber was great. Like I said before, Chris did the voice. That was him doing the voice. He gave me a sample of that, and I was just like, no way you're playing the Midnight Bomber. And I, I cracked up when he gave me that. But he did the he did the uh, he did the voice, but that's not him doing the the who's acting as him. So it's like a voiceover. But this was fun. This was. I hope you guys enjoyed this. As I always say, guys, look, man. You want fun fan films. You want a creator who is bringing his own flavor to a character, but staying true to the character and also respecting the source um chris is definitely one of them blinky 500 blinky productions you know he does some amazing work with a lot of different fandoms through through guys like chris and there's other you know, there's other great um fan film youtubers out there that just kill it and i love it and um always willing to support them and, and if this is my way of getting that out there for people to see outside of the norm of their 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 subscribers then that's what I'm gonna do uh, but it was great this was great this this had me laughing that and I, and we all could use some laughter laughter is a good medicine you, you feel me monster right that's right monsters right laughter is good he laughs all the time But other than that, guys, y'all take care. This is my brother, kid. My pack. Your alpha loves you. Stay true. Stay positive. Keep it real.